Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, August 29th. You'll be interested to know, 27 years ago, today, in 1997, Netflix was founded by American entrepreneurs Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. Originally a video rental company, it later expanded into video streaming and production. This transformation revolutionized the entertainment industry, making Netflix a global leader in digital content distribution and original programming. So now you know. And now, it's time for the Surf Report. Expect knee-high ground swell with occasional thigh-high sets throughout the week. Thursday to Sunday mornings will be glassy with light, offshore winds less than five miles per hour, becoming semi-choppy in the afternoons with stronger onshore winds five to 10 miles per hour. Thursday in Encinitas and North County. It's looking glassy in the morning until 10 at two feet. Then it gets a little choppy midday, but should ease up for a fair sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a two and a half foot incoming high tide when the west-northwest swell is one feet at 17 seconds and the onshore wind is three mile per hour. The first high tide Thursday will be four foot at 8.30 a.m. with a three foot low tide at one. The nearshore buoy at Beacons reads 74 degrees for the water temperature. This morning, it's cloudy and feels like 61 degrees with no wind. The sunset will take place at 716, and it will rise again tomorrow at 622. It looks like we're in for some partly sunny skies today, with temperatures reaching near 70 and a light southwest breeze. Tonight, expect mostly cloudy skies with a low around 66 and calm northwest winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect patchy fog each night after 11 p.m., clearing by late morning with mostly sunny days. Highs will be around 70 degrees with lows near 66 to 68 degrees and light west winds. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, as Labor Day 2024 approaches, brace for a record-breaking weekend of travel. The Transportation Security Administration expects to screen over 17 million passengers, making it the busiest Labor Day travel period ever. San Diego's airport unveils its new Terminal 1 parking plaza, part of a massive $4 billion remodel. Despite ongoing construction, travelers can access the nearly 3,000 new parking spots. Rates are $2.50 for 15 minutes and $38 for a full day. Expect traffic delays. Best travel times are early morning, with peak congestion from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sunday and Monday. Now on to sports. Caitlin Clark has set a new milestone in the WNBA, hitting her 86th three-pointer to break the rookie record. Known for her long-range shooting, Clark surpassed the previous record of 85 set by Ryan Howard in 2022. Remarkably, she achieved this in just her 31st game compared to Howard's 34th. Clark, playing for the Indiana Fever, now leads the league in three-pointers made, tied with Minnesota's Kayla McBride at 87. Despite a lower shooting percentage, Clark has been pivotal, leading the Fever to a 3-1 record since the Olympic break. 
in local sports. The Padres on the road lost to the Cardinals 4-3. to And today, it's a getaway day game for the last game of the series with the Cardinals. In top news, accountants are in short supply and the profession is struggling to attract young talent. Brian, who once dreamed of being an astrophysicist, shifted to accounting but faced skepticism from his parents. The American Institute of Certified Public Accountants reports that about 65,000 students completed accounting degrees in the 2021 to 2022 school year, an 18% drop from a decade earlier. The shortage is causing financial discrepancies in corporate America. To attract more accountants, experts suggest increasing pay, making the curriculum exciting and easing certification requirements. In business news, as the presidential election nears, several key bankruptcy policy issues are coming to the forefront. Congress, along with a new administration, will tackle matters related to insolvency. During the Biden administration, significant changes occurred, including a Supreme Court ruling against Purdue Pharma, complicating mass lawsuit resolutions in Chapter 11 cases. Additionally, new guidelines made it easier for student loan borrowers to discharge debts in bankruptcy. The Texas two-step tactic, used by companies like Johnson & Johnson, remains controversial, while venue shopping for favorable bankruptcy courts persists. The expired $7,500,000 threshold for small business bankruptcy filings also awaits legislative action. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $59,200. Ethereum is just over $2,500. And Solana is $144. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk tech. The third United States Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled that TikTok could potentially be liable for recommending a blackout challenge video to a girl who died, raising questions about Section 230, a law granting social media companies legal immunity. The Philadelphia-based court revived a lawsuit against TikTok over the death of 10-year-old Nyla Anderson, stating TikTok could be responsible due to its editorial judgment. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act offers broad protections to tech companies, but politicians argue it gives them too much power. The Anderson family hopes this ruling will prevent future tragedies. And in entertainment news, Apple's upcoming film, Waltz, directed by John Watts and starring Brad Pitt and George Clooney, has seen a significant shift in its release strategy. Initially promised a robust theatrical release, Wolves will now have a limited one-week run in theaters before streaming on Apple TV Plus starting September 27th. Despite this pivot, Watts emphasizes that Wolves was created for the big screen, showcasing his expertise from revitalizing the Spider-Man series. The film follows two fixers, played by Clooney and Pitt, tackling a fallout from a hookup gone wrong and features stand-up performances from Amy Ryan and Austin Abrams. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American actor and filmmaker, George Clooney. And he said, 
I'm kind of comfortable with getting older because it's better than the other option, which is being dead. So I'll take getting older. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Encinitas.